Hey guys, I'm Michael from eKids. Hey there. And now I want to teach you kids about something that I think is really important. I'm good. And that thing is worship. See, we can worship God by singing songs and praising oh, Him. Oh, yeah. You know, another way we can talk to God is through prayer. I you know, that. We also can pray songs to God as well. Wow. Worship and singing and praise is so important if we want to have a good relationship with God. That makes sense. Well, you know what? David, you know that character in the Bible we've studied before? David? Uh... David wrote songs too, and he worshiped, he sang, he praised, and he prayed. And a lot of the things that he prayed or praised about are written in the book of Psalms. Wow. He wrote a lot of the Psalms in the book of Psalms. So what I want to do is I want to show you a story or two about David and show you the song that he wrote about that story. Yep. So let's check it out. Let's check out how David sings and praises of God about the things that happened in his life. And you know what? Maybe as we learn these things, you'll decide to write songs about the things that happened in your life. Yeah, boy. And maybe you can praise God about the things that God has shown you. So let's check this one out and we'll talk more. All right, here we go. David, what's wrong? Your father is trying to kill me. Father, kill you? Why? I don't know. Quickly, lock the gate, quickly. Yes, princess. Open the door! David, why is this happening to us? I don't know. Oh. What are we gonna do? Oh my, they're about to break down the door! No, David, run away. Once Abner comes in, he won't even let me stop him. Nicole. David. doing this daddy what has he done you you love David more than your own father would you have him kill me to take my own kingdom you can't be serious this is my throne my crown my kingdom no one will ever take what is mine not even you <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you think about that story? Ah! Did you hear the things that happened in David's life? Now imagine if you were going to write a song about how you felt if something like that happened to you. Ah! Well, next we're going to hear a song that was written by people from today, but it's going to have the words of the actual song that David wrote. Thank you. That's going to be pretty cool. We're going to hear a song which is the words that David wrote about what we just heard. I'm excited. Let's hear this song. Deliver me from my enemies, O oh God. Save me from those who rise against me, O oh God. Deliver me from the evil doers plan. Save me from bloodthirsty men See how they lie in wait for me See how they plot against me For no offense or sin of mine I have done no wrong at all 
Yet they are ready to attack me Deliver me from my enemies, O oh God Save me from those who rise against me, O oh God Deliver me from the evildoer's plan Save me from bloodthirsty men Arise to help look upon my plight Lord God with your awesome might God the God of Israel Show no mercy to the nations To all the lying evil nations song too. Now can you guys see how David's stories and David's songs kind of go together? Yep, sometimes he's happy and he's praising God for things and sometimes David is sad and he's asking God for help. But he does all of this with his songs that we find in the book of Psalms. So what I think would be really cool for you guys is to continue to really work on things. You'll find David's story in 1st and 2nd Samuel, and you will also find his songs in the book of Psalms. I know that's hard to, to say. It's, it's spelled P-S-A-L-M-S, Psalms. So you know what? Maybe tonight you can go home and just read one of these Psalms and think about that and how the, the person who wrote it was either praising God or asking God for help. And you can do the same thing. Go home, get a piece of paper, get a pencil, and see if you can write a poem that explains how you feel about God. All right, guys, I love you, and I hope you have a wonderful day for now. See ya! Bye. Thank you!